Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I'm coming to you with a review of the Range Tactical Gear Range Runner XL Gun Cart. Now, if you're a competitive shooter like me, you've probably used some sort of a makeshift solution in the past to haul around all of your guns, ammo, and gear. Uh, maybe you've used some sort of a pull-behind cart, a little red wagon, or maybe even uh, maybe a baby stroller, uh, one of those jogging strollers that... Uh, you've converted into a, a tactical uh, baby cart to haul all your guns and stuff around. Uh, the problem with those makeshift solutions is you're using something uh, for a purpose it was not designed to do. A baby cart was not designed to haul around guns, but this particular product is specifically designed to uh, uh, optimize the shooting experience for a competitive shooter. Let me show you some of the, uh, not only standard equipment, but some of the optional accessories that I've purchased with the Range Runner XL uh, to, uh, to make it uh, perfect for my, my purposes. So the first thing we'll take a look at are the wheels on the Range Runner. Uh, these are pneumatic wheels, uh, the kind that you pump up. Uh, they're very, very nice. I tried both of the plastic wheels that you can get on the Range Runner. I've tried these pneumatic tires and... I'm here to tell you the, the pneumatic tires are worth the extra money that you pay uh, when you order the cart because uh, they will uh, run a lot more smoothly over uh, rough terrain and with, with a lot less noise, a lot less rattles. Uh, the plastic ones uh, are uh, acceptable, but uh, the pneumatic tires are so much better. Um, let's also take a look at this... Uh, mount that you see here for uh, uh, the lower portion of a long gun. Uh, it is uh, uh, mounted via these uh, what look like Q-Mod holes uh, that you would find on an AR-15, but they can be found all over the cart, on the sides, on the back, uh, and that's basically so that you can uh, configure this thing however you want it to in whatever position to suit your needs. It's nearly infinitely configurable uh, thanks to how they have it designed. Uh, this uh, long gun mount here, the lower portion, does have felt in the bottom of it that uh, uh, the barrel uh, rests so your, your barrel or your muzzle device doesn't get scratched up and is held very securely. You'll also notice that there are very high fenders. Uh, the fenders are very important because when the tires here are rolling, uh, they'll tend to kick up uh, a lot of debris, rocks, and dirt. Uh, that can uh, get into this area, but the high fenders uh, prevent that from happening. Uh, so again, very well designed, very well thought out. Moving to the uh, upper uh, long gun bracket, uh, you can again see that I have it uh, mounted in a way to accommodate this particular AR-15 that I use in 3-gun. It's a, a short one. It's about a 13-inch barrel with... Uh, uh, a pin and welded comp. So it's a shorter gun. The, uh, the gun bracket is mounted fairly low on the side of the cart here to accommodate its size. But if we go around to the other side of the cart, we can see that the, that the similar bracket that is holding my shotgun in place is mounted much higher because my shotgun is much taller. Uh, you can also see that both of these uh, uh, gun brackets here have uh, rubber bands that can be uh, uh, put into place to hold things securely while you're rolling. Uh, they're very, very nice. Really appreciate that feature. So as we move to uh, the middle portion of the cart, we can see that I've got a very large, uh, my three-gun bag, uh, sitting in, in uh, the bottom of the cart, uh, as well as this igloo uh, cooler for drinks. Um, I really haven't seen many bags bigger than this one, but if you did have a, a little bigger bag, there is extra room there. You can certainly hold a lot in that particular area of the XL cart. Uh, you could even put a case of water into there if you wanted to. Uh, you can also see that uh, I've got a pistol bag uh, in there. Again, all of this held very securely. It won't uh, uh, bounce out or when you're rolling. Again, this is very well constructed. Uh, really appreciate that. In the upper portion of the cart here, this uh, fold-out table, uh, really, really nice uh, 
accessory that comes standard on the Range Runner XL, you can see I've got an ammo can here that can hold all of the ammunition that I would need for any kind of competitive shooting that I do, be it 3-gun, Steel Challenge, or USPSA. Uh, this ammo can can hold uh, all the ammo for a day of shooting. Uh, you can see I've got some uh, ammunition here and a couple of magazines just for a scale to show you how much room that you've got to do for, for uh, reloading or to hold uh, other things that you might want to put up on the table. You'll also see that I've got uh, what some people call a Diva fan here. This is just a Ryobi uh, uh, rechargeable uh, fan. You can see it's got a removable battery back here uh, and a, I find it a pretty essential uh, accessory for uh, shooting in a match during during the hot summers. I do have a review of that item on through my lens as well if you want to take a look at that. Uh, one of the things that uh, is an accessory item with the Range Runner carts that uh, works very nicely with this fan is this accessory umbrella holder. Uh, the umbrella here is primarily not to keep everything dry in the event of a pop-up shower, although it would function in that way. Uh, the primary purpose that I use the umbrella holder here uh, is to stay cool during the summer. Uh, those uh, you know, July, August matches where that sun's beating down on you, it's very, very nice to be able to, when you're not resetting or shooting, uh, when you're reloading or, or just uh, chatting with friends, to come under the shade of, of this umbrella. Uh, you will make a lot of friends very quickly when you show up to the range with something like this. Uh, because everybody will want, want to huddle around with you to stay cool in those hot summers. Uh, also, another accessory item that I that you see I have here attached, although I think like the umbrella holder it is a must-have, is one of the cup holder uh, attachments. Uh, you can see I've got my own water bottle attached to it, although they do uh, it does come with a couple of plastic water bottles. <clears throat> um, you can mount these in a lot of different places. You can see on the on the uh, Range Tactical Gear website that it shows how uh, they're mounted here in the back uh, uh, where these screw holes are. And you can mount two of them here on the back on both sides. Uh, but uh, I don't need two of them. I just need one for my purposes. Uh, so I have uh, my water bottle mounted here because I can. Again, really love the configurability of the Range Runner system here. So that's uh, that really is a good summary of how I have my cart set up and again, I've used this cart in several matches, and I can't say enough good things about uh, uh, how I like this, how it performs. Uh, it pushes very easily over rough terrain, keeps all my gear. Uh, you can see in the uh, review of this that I have on Through My Lens, the photo review, uh, that uh, it packs down very, very small. Uh, it's uh, uh, very uh, fits very well in the back of your vehicle. You can pack stuff around it. One of the things that irritates me about the baby cart that I used to use is that it kind of sits like a big blob in the back of your cart and or your vehicle and takes up a lot of room and you can't pack stuff on it. But this, uh, this functions very well. I uh, also want to mention that this video review is a supplement to my written photo review that can be found on throughmylens.org. Uh, the written photo review will have a lot more details, a lot more photos. Uh, really, this uh, video supplement is just designed to get uh, some video footage of the cart out there for the community uh, and to kind of get some, some thoughts and video. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next one.